Hey guys, it's Sona here. Welcome back to another video. It's been a long time since I've done one of these videos, but I've been really wanting to do another one. That is a video opening up some fake bootleg toys. I used to do these videos kind of often where I would unbox some fake toys and just like review them and stuff. So I've been collecting them over the period of a couple of months because I find a lot of fake stuff just like really interesting. <laughs> so I have kind of a range of different things to go through here. This is stuff that I found like physically in stores, usually like dollar store type places, you know. Oh and here are some clips of things I also found in store that I didn't buy but I wanted to show you guys anyway. I think this My Magical Kaleidoscope one is probably my favourite. Like, who thought of this? <laughs> okay, the ones I'm most excited about are these fake Poppy Playtime toys. Because the packaging on these is just really funny. Okay, so these two are the same blind bag. It, what is this? It just says enjoy. Like, that's the only word it has on it. We've got Huggy Wuggy. But then we've got some like random, I think it's like Friday Night Funking stuff. I don't know much about that game. But I do know like a little bit about Poppy Playtime. I don't know what this robot is. There's like a Country Humans OC or something. Um, I, I kind of don't like that I know what that is unfortunately. Just from being on the internet for too long. I really like this picture of um, Poppy from Poppy Playtime here. Where is this picture from? Why does she look like that? I'm scared. Yeah, there's so much going on in this picture. I'm like so confused. Does anyone know like the characters on this packaging? Let me know. It feels like there's a figure in these ones. So let's see what figure we get. Will it be a Poppy Playtime figure or will it be something else? Let's find out. Are you ready? Oh, what the hell is that? Um, is this meant to be Mummy Longlegs from Poppy Playtime? Because that does not look like her at all. What is this? I'm actually disappointed. I would have actually liked a Poppy Playtime. Oh, wait, what the heck? There's a bunch of cards in here. What the frick is that? We got cards, guys. What? We got this thing. Still have no idea what this is from. You say it's Poppy Playtime on the back. I don't think this is from Poppy Playtime. Okay, well, I don't know what the hell this is. What is this from? Does anyone know? Like, what is this? Why do they have stats? Attack, power, defense, wisdom. And then we have Poppy. We got a p picture of this beautiful... What the hell is this? Yeah, this is actually, um... I mean, I didn't expect much, but what is this? Did they forget to, like, color her? Isn't she just mostly pink though? Alright, that's interesting. <laughs> so glad I, I broke two of these. Alright, what's in this one? Just please be something different. Oh, we got Huggy Wuggy! Okay, see this is actually cool. I think this looks kind of cool. He's kind of slaying. Like this looks much better than this one. <laughs> He's kind of McDonald's colored. Poppy Playtime McDonald's collab. Oh my god, we got- is this the same cards? We got the exact same cards. You guys jealous of my freaking Pokemon pulls? Is this an ultra rare? I don't know how I feel about these. I kind of like him though. He's- he's kind of cool. Okay, this one is actually different because it feels like a plush is in here. So I'm very excited. Also, there was only one of this one. Um, and this has, look out, playtime. Very threatening, actually. Again, this has that freaking robot, this cat, what is happening? This, like, random dinosaur, what is this? Who is this man? Come and play together. Sometimes fakes have that really strong plasticky smell. These actually don't have that, but still, I would not buy these for kids. Just want to put that out there, like, fake toys like this. Um, can actually be really dangerous because they usually don't have any regulations. They can use like any kind of like paint that could be toxic and stuff for kids. So I wouldn't recommend buying fake toys for your children. You never know what's going to be in there. Same thing as like, you know, buying kids toys from like Temu and stuff like that. Like I wouldn't recommend that at all. Okay, what is in here? <gasps> oh, 
Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, this is sick! Oh, he's so cute! I kind of like him. He looks nothing like Huggy Wuggy. He just looks like some guy. But I kind of like that. He looks kind of like a hand. I don't know. What the heck? It actually is like a little keychain. Oh, there's cards. Who the hell is this guy? Who is this? What is what is happening? Did I miss something on Poppy Playtime? I feel like I did. I mean, I haven't played it. I've just watched people play it, but maybe I missed something. What does this mean? The only one I, th I recognize is this one. Who, who are these? Okay, I did not expect this though. He's kind of cool, I kind of like him. <laughs> I kind of wish I, there was more of these so I could see what other plushes we could get. Look at him. Okay, this one I have to show you, okay? <sighs> if you know, you know. I wish this was a joke. I found this at a new store that just opened up near me. Um, found it while I was checking out. And uh, yeah, I know what you're thinking, and yes, I'm thinking the same thing. This is a goddamn pony jar. This is a goddamn pony jar. Pre-made pony jar. Literally, like this is insane. Like, <laughs> I cannot believe this is fucking real. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Like, it's fine. You don't need to know what I'm talking about. Just If you know, you know. If you don't know, don't worry about it. It's fine. You've been it that way. I feel like the pony jar joke is so old now, but like, I mean, come on, this is Hello? Like, even the color? <laughs> this is crazy. Here's the top. Crystal mud. Making fun. New play. I didn't see any other ponies, actually. I actually saw some of those Poppy Playtime smiling friends. Some of those were in some of these. Um, I did not get any of those, though. They looked quite bad, though. I had to get this one, for obvious reasons. And we should actually review this slime because I actually love slime. I've been obsessed with those. This feels so wrong. I've been obsessed with those slime videos on TikTok where people just like, you just like stores that sell it. I literally can watch those like for hours. Like I really want to actually get some proper slime. I know this is not gonna be a good slime, but oh yeah, it's like super breakable. We need a free Rainbow Dash from here. Let's free her. This is not good slime at all. We need to free her, guys. We need to free Rainbow Dash. There she is. What actually even is this? It looks like it would be like a croc charm or something. We freed her from her fate. Yeah, this slime sucks. This is like, it's just breaking into pieces on my hands. So I honestly, I don't really want to touch it. Here she is, she's free. It's just like a little rubbery rainbow dash thing. Can we make the slime fart? It's not working. Alright, this feels really wrong now. <laughs> okay. Ew, what the hell? The slime's like in pieces. This is really bad slime. Let's put it back in there. Here you go. Back in your home. Alright, really glad I paid for that. There's little chunks of slime on my fingers. Okay guys, this one's kind of awesome. You're gonna be so jealous. Hatsune Miku mystery pin. Whoa. Isn't that crazy? This one honestly looks kind of legit. It's definitely not though. I don't really understand this. There was other ones. There was like Hello Kitty ones, but like I never see bootleg Hatsune Miku stuff. So I was like, all right, I have to get it. It's a pen. I'm going to use this. And I think it's a mystery. I honestly, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but this packaging's cute, but it's definitely just like stolen art, right? Actually, the weird thing was that this, the pen stand that this was sitting in was like bootleg My Little Pony themed, but there was no My Little Pony pen. All right, guys, what pen are we going to get? This is so exciting. It feels so random, like a mystery Hatsune Miku pen? Okay. I mean, why not? Okay, you ready? Oh, it is? Oh! It is different. I thought... Is this fucking AI art? Oh my god, it totally is. Not that I would like it anyway, but I, I did actually want to use this. Okay, this picture doesn't look like AI, but this one definitely is. I uh, hope you can tell. But like, can you see the way the bow is like merging into different bows and the way the hair looks 
And the way the clothes, like what's happening with her clothes, like this is AI. This part's cool though. Like, can I just rip this off and put it on something else? All right, I don't know what to do with this now. <laughs> now I own an AI art thing in my house. This feels so wrong. Okay, next thing we have is a bootleg Barbie. Now, honestly, she's really cute. That's why I got her. And also she was like $5 or something, which is like insanely cheap, even for a bootleg. Sometimes bootleg stuff is like so expensive, um, but like $5 and she actually looks like really cute. Honestly, she looks kind of better than like the cheapest Barbies. You can get like the Fashionistas, the cheapest Barbies. They're about maybe like 15 New Zealand dollars, I think. This girl was $5 and she looks so much better. But she definitely has a fake Barbie body. Like I think this is um, like a copied version of the old Dreamhouse Barbie body, I think. Um, but her head does not look like a Barbie head. So I don't know where that has come from. Come along, she'll make you happy every day. Happiness start from here. The sun like the flowers bloom. Shallow sing sweet dream and love. The feelings of each moment. Wonderful times together. That's what it says over here. Pretty awesome. I see a lot of bootleg Barbies around. But this is probably the cutest one I've seen, and also the cheapest one. Like, some of them are so expensive for a bootleg Barbie. Like, I've never seen a bootleg Barbie with, like, this really cute, like, textured hair before. I mean, it's it's quite low quality hair, but it's really cute. It's got pink in it. Her face is quite cute, but I, I do assume that that's probably a bootleg, like, copied face from somewhere. But it doesn't look like Barbie. That tiara is really cute too. The outfit is like kind of giving like she brought it from Timu or something. That looks actually AI generated. That picture. <laughs> I mean this skirt's cute. It's all in one piece but she has articulation. She's actually more articulated than like any Barbie dolls that you can buy at the moment. <laughs> like that's kind of insane. I mean it is a Barbie body that she is on. It's a bootleg Barbie body but the fact that they don't even use this body anymore is kind of crazy. Dude, okay. I actually really like her. <laughs> like, I kind of want to, like, redress her. Her body is, like, hollow, but, I mean, for, like, $5, this is actually a really good doll. She came with a bag. Okay. And a comb. It's going to be very hard to comb her hair, though. Her hair is, is not, not very good quality. But, you know, neither is Barbie's. Let's be real here. She's actually so cute though. I like her. I feel like someone could definitely use this for a custom or something. Okay, I found these and I had to get these for a few reasons. First of all, the fact that there's ponies on the packaging and this is a is a pony looking thing. But also, I think these are supposed to be fake versions of Tubba squishies. Just something I've been insanely obsessed with on TikTok. I love watching videos of people making them and squishing them. It's so satisfying and I actually want a real one. These are definitely not real ones. Like they don't squish as much as real ones do. They're actually kind of cute. I really wanted to try them. And like look at this packaging. It's so random. It has Starlight Glimmer with her like fake cutie mark and Pinkie Pie. And then it has like Karomi, um, Snorl, whatever that thing is. And it's this like Applejack looking squishy. And honestly, I've been having so much fun squishing this, like in the packaging. Um, I don't actually think you're supposed to open Tama squishies, right? You're supposed to leave them in the packaging. But I kind of want to open these and see what they feel like. This is the other one. It's actually so cute. Look at this. Let me see if I can do some ASMR for you guys. Alright, ready? See, I don't feel like it's super satisfying because Thomas Squishies are supposed to be like super sticky and these ones don't seem to be that sticky. But this one's really satisfying because of all the like things on it. And that's clearly Applejack. 
Like that's just straight up Applejack. So what should I do? Should I open these? I don't know if you're really supposed to, but I want- to Oh wait, hang on. Oh! They're actually in a resealable bag. Okay, that's perfect. I mean, I might be wrong. Maybe you are supposed to open Tama Squishies, but I feel like people usually keep them in the bags. So it came off. Whoa. I really want to eat it. The sprinkles are coming off. This looks so edible. Oh, look at the way it jiggles. I kind of love this. It's sticky. Not as sticky as I think Tama Squishies are supposed to be. But it's pretty sticky. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Okay, we have to open this one now, too. Applejack, let me squish you. I don't want things to fall off. It's Applejack. She's so squishy. Squish. Squish. This is supposed to be ASMR, but you might be able to hear my chicken in the background. She is clucking outside. It actually smells good as well. It kind of smells like vanilla. I don't know if that's intentional. But I like it. I don't actually know if my camera will pick up any of those like sounds. Because <laughs> I don't have one of those special ASMR cameras. Dude, I used to hate ASMR, but honestly, I could watch slime ASMR all day. Okay. These next two... Now, I don't know if I would consider these to be fakes. I probably wouldn't. I don't think that these are bootleg My Little Ponies. I think that they're enough to be their own thing. And I'm not one of those people that thinks like every single thing that's pony themed is just trying to be like My Little Pony. But they're probably inspired by it. I mean, dress your pony. I mean, yeah, they're, they're, I'd say that it's most likely they're inspired by My Little Pony, but I wouldn't call these actually bootleg. Um, but I found these and I thought that they were so cute. I really wanted to try them. Yeah, it's just a little pony that has like clothes on, I guess. It's like a squishy pony, which is kind of interesting. The packaging's cute. The artwork's really cute. Um, they all have names and stuff too. Cute. But these designs are really cute. Look at these. I like how they have like actual horse colors. This one I thought was super cute, kind of giving Applejack with the little hat and stuff. And uh, yeah, same with this one, super cute. But let's actually open them so we can look at them. I hope they're not too sticky. Oh. Oh. Okay, I just saw its face, sorry. <laughs> they're actually not sticky, which is nice. But I still feel like it's kind of that material that stuff will stick to. They're like, they have like, I don't know. What is that? Feels like they've got rocks inside them. <laughs> like it feels too thick to be sand. Okay, I mean, it, she's cute. I like the colors, like the actual horse colors. But then you look to the front. I don't know, it's really uncanny. It's got like human looking eyes. But I don't know, I think, I think it's cute. The hat is not removable, but I think... I think the clothes are right. Saddle thing. Okay, cute. It's got paint stuck to it from that, but oh, it's cute though. It does look like an actual pony shape, you know. And they're kind of they got little legs. They feel kind of not as good quality as I thought they would be. Like the hooves are like all hollow. And these were like six dollars each or something like that. So it's a little more than like a dollar store item. Alright, let's open the next one. Cute. Okay, the. The front face is really a jump scare. Like, get her some brown contacts, please. But she's cute, though. Look at her, a little horse. She's got cute, cute braids. Kiss. 
Okay, this one's not really brulee either. I just wanted to buy slime. <laughs> it kind of goes in this video because I need to find some uh, like cheap slime that's actually good because I've yet to find any, which is probably because you can't make good slime that's cheap. And I probably should just buy it from someone who like makes it. But you know what? I I just I don't know, man. Ooh, okay, this is super fluffy, the fluffiest ever. New improved formula. It's in a bag. Okay. It does smell. It smells like strawberry, maybe? It smells really nice. Ooh. Wait, this feels really good. It smells so good. No slime left behind. We need to get all the little bits. Okay. This is amazing. This is the best slime I've ever brought. This feels so good. It feels so soft. And it's so stretchy. And it smells so good. This is actually incredible. This is how I imagine those slimes on those TikTok videos feels like. Oh my god. Okay, this is it. This truly is the best slime, I think. Like, this is the kind of texture I've been looking for. It's perfect. I'm gonna keep this at my desk and just play with it all the time honestly it's so good it doesn't leave any residue on your hands either incredible put it back in here i think i saw different colors too so i might have to get more of this i'm not gonna lie also it's like actually super safe for like sensitive skin and all that so it's probably a lot safer to get this instead of something like this that doesn't say anything about how safe jesus it got so bubbly in here she's she's drowning yeah if you want some soft slime I recommend this. This is not an ad, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, that's all for this video. Um, this was really fun. Let me know what your favorite fake item was today. I don't know. I mean, the slime's definitely the best thing I brought, but I don't think it counts because it's not like a fake item. I mean, the doll's really cute. I think she's definitely one of the best fake like Barbie dolls I've ever seen. Let me know guys, if you like this kind of videos, let me know if you want to see more. I'd love to do more. Maybe I can like look online instead because I can probably find a lot more interesting things online. But you have to let me know because it does involve me spending money. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video. Bye!